Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nathan from the Good View Woodworks channel. Today we went out of town, my wife and I went out of town to visit my parents and they had a little project that they wanted us to tackle. She was wanting a new used dresser for my nieces and we were like, what's wrong with the old one? Just a couple of drawers are loose, so we're gonna glue those back together, repair them, and then we're just gonna make over this dresser. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all the steps we're taking to revamp this new dresser. Check it out. So here's this old dresser. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace these knobs we're gonna keep, but these old school drawer pulls here and here we're gonna get new ones. And I think all the drawers work. It's not too bad, but I think one of them is bad. I don't know which one it is. Oh, well, I guess we found, I guess we found out which drawer's bad. Too, so looks like we just have to repair that one drawer and we're gonna sand it scuff it up and we're gonna just repaint it and repurpose this old dresser Alright, so first things first, we pulled the drawers out already. We sat them here on the table. So what we'll do is we'll remove all the hardware from the drawers and then we'll use that Gorilla Glue hot glue and fix them. So the drawer slide is also barely hanging on. And we need to we need to replace um, one of the drawer slides for another one of these drawers. Here we go. Um, do you want to? We're missing one track, so you want to put it on the bottom so if it does come out, it won't have so far to fall. The bottom drawer right here is missing the metal track that slides on that piece. So my dad's idea is to instead of the, that metal piece, metal piece holds the drawer in from tipping down when the drawer is out. So he figured if you put it on the bottom, it doesn't really have very far to fall. So we'll put that drawer on the bottom. Pretty good idea. All right, so we got a Gorilla Glue hot melt glue stick in here and it's hot, so it's ready to use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the, we're gonna glue the dovetails back together. You see this thing was glued from the factory. We got some good squeeze out right here. So we got some good squeeze out right here. So we'll just hold this here till it dries. This should be good as new. So the next step is to pull all the hardware off. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right.
So my wife and my mom went to Home Depot to pick out some paint and my mom wanted to keep these colors. These are for my nieces. This room is for my nieces. My mom wants to paint the dresser this light blue color because it matches there and it also and it also matches the bed. So far the plan is to paint the whole dresser blue and then we're gonna paint the drawer fronts white and have gold knobs. Color the color is called pretty. Is that really what it's called? Nice. Painting it all pretty. We're gonna go ahead and um, fill all the holes in the drawers because we're adding new drawer pulls and we're gonna use this Durham's water putty. What it is is just a powder. You add water to it and it makes a little, it makes putty, but it gets rock hard. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and fill all the holes with this because it sets really quickly. So we got a 100 grit sandpaper disc on our sander and we're gonna go ahead and scuff sand this dresser. So all you have to do really is just get some scratches in it, you know, because we're not gonna be refinishing it, we're gonna be repainting it. So the paint just needs some mechanical adhesion. So those scratches are gonna give it something for the paint to bite into. So you don't have to take the finish all the way off, but we're gonna take the glossiness off the dresser. <laughs> sander, orbital sander, and then all the sides that have these contours. I'm going to take the sandpaper off the orbital sander and I'm just going to hand sand all this. And Sometimes I tell you what, it's hard to get up all up in those whoop de doos. Gotta fold your paper all up weird. Right. I'm just kidding. Now that we got everything sanded, we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the whole surface with some isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. After we're done wiping it down, we'll be able to paint this joker up. She's just the best painter there ever was. Doing a good job, honey, I love you. Thank you. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and finish this side, let it dry, and we'll be back for coat numero dos. So now that the drawers are all sanded, what we're gonna do next is drill the holes for the new knobs. And remember, when you're drilling something, always pre-drill your stuff before you re-drill your stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
That was dumb. Next level. You know how painting works. We're gonna go ahead and get this white on and then we'll be all done. So we finally finished the dresser and what you didn't see is we painted hardware that we bought. We painted them gold and we added new hardware to the drawers. If you wanna see how to prep and paint metal, I have a video that we painted some legs on that video and I'm gonna link it up here in the card. That way if you have any questions, you can go there and see it. So dresser is finally completely done and it looks a lot better than Thanks, Mom. <laughs> if you like that video, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. And last but not least, ring the bell so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. I want to ask you guys a question. What do you guys want to see from my YouTube channel? Are there any specific projects that you would like me to tackle? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out with us.